Hey you guys, this morning I'm going to show you our mascara. Um, and let me just uh, preface this video saying I'm not wearing contacts today. I, I'm wearing my glasses today, um, but obviously can't put on mascara while I'm wearing glasses. Um, speaking of, for people who always wear glasses, I don't know how you do makeup. Like, I had the hardest time this morning trying to like get this close to the mirror so I could actually see what I was doing. Um, it was not easy. So kudos to you for figuring out how to make that work. Uh, so before I do my mascara, let me just show you what I've used today on my eyes because I did use Shadow Sense, of course. So I did my Sandstone Pearl all over my lid. And then I did um, this Mulberry um, in the crease. And that's a really good like transition color. It's n if you just use just a, a tiny bit of it, it's not too dark. Um, it's really good. And then I've got Garnet um, in just the very outer corners of my crease. I also used Garnet um, to contour um, around my face and I used it as my um, lower lash eyeliner just with my little um, angled eyeliner brush. I just got a little bit of this and put it under there. I usually like um, brown under my eyes rather than black just because black is so harsh but I do black sometimes too and I know probably most people prefer a black eyeliner but just telling you what I did today. Um, so I had to do a whole new setup because I, I couldn't get really close enough to the mirror um, with my camera to like film my mascara. So I've got my phone stacked on top of like two Candyland games. Uh, anyway, so I made this little makeshift thing for me to use today. Oh, and I wanted to show you my shirt. So, okay, it's, I guess it's backwards to you, but it says Jared Ward Marathon Rio Olympics 2016. So this is my cousin's husband and he is down in Rio right now. He's running the marathon in the Olympics this weekend. So you can get these really cool shirts at Bowman's in Kaysville. Go ahead and pick up a dozen or so. Um, so I'm just going to show you the mascara. Let me tell you about it first, I guess. So I actually have a duo. Okay. This is called Undersense and this is a lash builder or a lash primer. You put this on first. Um, and then the mascara on the other side. Um, this is the most waterproof mascara I have ever used, ever. If you want to be wearing mascara for the rest of your life, um, this is what you're gonna want for that. Uh, so, you can buy it in a duo like this. Um, you can also buy full tubes of the Lash Sense and the mascara. Um, just, I guess, preference what you want to do. So, I think that's all I wanted to tell you about that. So, while I'm telling you about the mascara, I know I just keep putting this off, so sorry. I'm not well organized today and also blind, so there you go. Um, I'm going to tell you about the Foops Remover. I've mentioned this before in a couple of videos. It's it's called Foops because it's like the oops remover for your lip sense, but you use it on your face, so Foops. Um, so this is the remover that we have, and this of course also has the Cineplex complex, Cineplex complex in it that is going to renew your cells. So um, pretty much all of our products have that in it, which um, I can tell you it's improving my skin for sure. But this is just a makeup remover, and if you are going to be using the um, our mascara, which is called Lash Sense, you are going to need a really hardcore remover like Foops. I'll just get to the application of the Lash Sense and we'll see how this goes because like I said, I'm not seeing well today <clears throat> without my contacts. So I always curl my lashes because I don't know how I can show you those, but they're very straight. They're relatively long, but they're just straight, super, super straight. So maybe I'll do this side so my bangs aren't in the way. I'm just gonna curl my lashes. I start at the base and just crimp my way up to the ends of my lashes. And I've said this before, but doing makeup in the 
camera of your phone is not easy. So, those are probably fine, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna do my lash, or my undersense first. Okay, that's a really nice fluffy brush. I like that quite a bit. And I'm just gonna wiggle a little bit of that on there. And hope that I got everything. I think I did. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and then um, I'm just gonna, I just pretty much do one coat of the undersense and then I'm just gonna do, I usually do probably two coats of the lash scents. Okay, that's about as good as it's gonna get with my vision situation today. And then I'll just do my lower lashes over here um, so we don't have to take all day doing both eyes. Um, but, so you can use la or the undersents on your uh, lower lashes too if you want. I'm going to, this is, Poked my eye. One thing about using your camera is like the per depth perception is not <laughs> accurate, so you poke your eye sometimes. Okay. I did not get very much on there because I can't see my eyelashes well enough to get it on there, but it gives you the idea. Now I know. It is not the best idea to make a video when you can't see. You live and learn. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a mirror, see if I can get this to look decent. Okay, that's pretty good. So I like this um, especially for my lower lashes because <clears throat> I don't know about you guys, but I always end up with black mascara under my um, eyelashes just because my lower lashes touch my um, eyelid. No, not eyelid, face. I don't know what, my under eye area. Uh, so. I always end up with just black stuff everywhere, so I, I almost never wear, uh, I'm shaking the table. This is not my best video, but hopefully it'll make for some entertainment. Um, anyways, whatever I was saying, who knows. I usually don't wear mascara on my lower lashes because I end up with black stuff everywhere. This is so waterproof and so smudge proof and so it's gonna stay wherever you want it um, that I can use it on my lower lashes, so that is a huge bonus for me. Um, I think that's all I had to show you guys today. I'm gonna quit here before like my alarm goes off or you know, who knows what else could be obnoxious in this video. But that's it. This is the lash scents and the under scents and then I showed you the um, eyeshadows that I used today and I showed you the foops, which my son loves to play with this because he loves to shake it up and um, watch the bubbles and watch it separate and anyways that's beside the point there you go have a good day